Hi folks, today on figuringstuffout.net we have a special episode. I'm telling you about how aircraft solenoids uh, relate to the Norman Conquest. Now, we're going to talk about that in relation to telecommunications and this 486 hey, Craig, computer. I need help figuring something out. Sure, Rebecca, what is it? Well, on my website, biginTheWorld.org, we have people who use MyFitnessPal to track their nutrition. Mm -hmm. And it's a great site, and one of the amazing features is that if you cook, you can add all the ingredients that were in your recipe, tell it how many servings you made, and it calculates for you all your nutrition information per serving. Oh yeah, I love that feature. I've used it myself. But there's a problem. If you're right. deep frying, if you're making chiles rellenos or falafel, the recipe you're using is going to call for two quarts of oil to fry in. But that much oil doesn't go into your food. Sure, that makes so sense. can you help us figure out how much oil we should enter into our MyFitnessPal recipes when we cook something that's fried? Sure, we can do that. We'll do it with science. We fried several foods. We had the oil pan, the full oil pan and the empty drip pan. We weighed them both very carefully. And then we fried the food put it in the drip pan, let it drip, and then took it off. We weighed the oil pan and the drip pan that had been dripped into, and then we took the difference, and that was the amount of oil that we estimated that the food absorbed. We did three tests with chicken strips, chicken breasts, and three tests with fry-cut potatoes. The type of breading you use really doesn't matter that much. We didn't see a lot of difference between breading that was just you know, milk and egg wash and a little bit of breadcrumbs or breading that was really thick beer batter that we dipped the food into. Breading adds a lot of fat to your food, but as I said, the type doesn't really matter. So for solid substances like potatoes and chicken, we figured on average, your food picks up about 2.5 tablespoons of oil per half pound of the substance, chicken or potatoes. So if you have a recipe that calls for frying two pounds of potatoes, you can just do the multiplication and you'll know about how much you want to enter into MyFitnessPal. Now, other kinds of fried foods that are more particulate, like falafel or hush puppies, also pick up a lot of oil, but a really surprising result we found is that they don't actually pick up as much. So when we calculated everything out, hush puppies or falafel both gained about the same amount of oil, about one tablespoon per half pound of batter. These are going to be estimates. Uh, as Craig talked about our methodology and he's also going to talk about some of the caveats to keep in mind, uh, but any croquette or falafel or similar substance, I think you could probably calculate based about on what we came up with. And on my website, there are results where I also calculate this out per standard recipe of things like the falafel and the hush puppies. Our guess was the digital kitchen scale we were using had an uncertainty of plus or minus one gram. The, the sum of those two has a propagated error of plus or minus 1.4 grams. The ultimate answer was the difference between the two. The uncertainty is roughly plus or minus two grams. That's based just on the measurement device itself. The result for fry cut potatoes unbreaded and chicken strips, not consistent with zero, almost within our, our margin of error of zero. Whereas fry cut potatoes breaded, battered, chicken strips breaded, battered, falafel, our results show that they definitely absorbed a significant amount of oil. This is a reasonable result, assuming that we didn't make some massive syst um, systematic error. Th that leaves, leads credence to our, our results being a least, at least a good first estimate of this. We also tabulated a percent increase in calories for potatoes and chicken in case this table is easier to use. I feel like we got pretty good results. We've got some idea now how much oil to add into our MyFitnessPal recipes. Yeah, and that'll be good because you always wonder about fried food, but this at least gives, gives a first order estimate to what that does, at least as far as calories. I don't know about you, but I think I wanna go eat a salad now. <laughs> Salad for supper sounds like a good idea. Thanks for watching this video. Um, do experiments by yourself sometimes and never stop figuring stuff out. <laughs> I assume I'm supposed to turn to the camera and look alarmed sure. when you say that. <laughs> like that? Yeah. Aircraft solenoids in the Norman Conquest. <laughs> Which is a hint that I'm coming.